Kalia's birthday video. Scene one. Take one. Lights. Camera. Action. Cute. Ooh, would she wear that though? Hey girl, what you doing? <sighs> Trying to think of what to get my friend for a birthday. <gasps> Ooh, I love getting gifts. <sighs> this isn't going to be for you. It's for her, a girl who's turning 10 next week. Plus, you had your birthday three months ago. Oh! <laughs> That's right. I totally forgot. C can I help? I love helping the less fortunate. Uh, I wouldn't call her that. I mean, she has two houses and then two adoring sides of her family. Both mom and dad. Well... What else can you tell me about her? What is she like? Well... Like any girl, she loves dancing and pretending she's an animal, being really silly, gymnastics, playing outside, creating things like arts and crafts, loves her family and friends. Oh, oh, speaking of family and friends, she has two brothers, two big brothers, and a big sister. Well, and an adorable baby brother. She is silly and sassy and creative and funny and caring and determined and really hardworking. Ugh, the list goes on and on. Wow. She sounds like a really special girl. She really is. I haven't seen her in what seems like forever. I, I miss her. Well, I hope I can see her someday and play with her. I'm gonna go to the mall now. Gotta get some new clothes. And, I mean, all my other clothes are ripped up with bite marks. Like, who does that? Bite marks aren't even in. Wait. What do you mean, bite marks? No one told you? Well, there was a ravenous beast that lived in the downstairs level a long time ago that would break past the barrier when it was left open and completely destroy any unattempted clothes and shoes. Sometimes I would attack people like poor Miss Raymond next door. That's why she has peg leg. L. How many times do I have to tell you? Miss Raymond was born like that. She was born without a leg. Keep telling yourself that, sweetie. Just go shopping. Okay, bye! Hmm. What about... No, that wouldn't work. Didn't she say that she wanted this? Too much money. Um, but would this work? No, oh, no. Parents wouldn't approve either side. Ugh! Why are why is it so hard to shop for little girls? Someone having a problem with girls? Oh, Nigel! Oh. How did you get here? I, I thought you were the gem. I got home early and heard you stressing out. Want my help? Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I... yeah. 
I can't quite figure out what to get my friend for her birthday. Get her what every girl wants for her birthday. Me? Um, no. She's turning ten, Nigel. I don't think she'd want a bodybuilder in her life. <laughs> Sounds boring. She is a child! I doubt her parents would allow an 18-year-old boy like you to babysit her and her brothers! Now, are you going to help me or just waste my time? Oh, well, okay, okay, okay. I'll help you. Sheesh. Sis snapped. I'm sorry. I've been racking my brain since yesterday thinking of what to get her. Not really eating and barely sleeping, and so far I got a pen. A pen! It's not even the light of kind. Well, how about this? After we finish, I take you out for ice cream. Really? You do that for me? Of course. You deserve it. I mean, I can't eat the ice cream because I gotta keep this figure up for the ladies! Oh, gosh. You know, I thought this was gonna be a sweet moment between the two of us, but you just had to ruin it. What? Two hours later. Alright, so maybe we don't give her a car yet, but what about we make a rocket ship for her and send her on a trip to the moon? What? Where on earth did you get a idea like that? You saw it in the movies. <laughs> Seemed pretty real to me. Movies? As in Hollywood? Dude, they have money, space, and time to buy and build a rocket. And we don't even have money for chicken nuggets. I'm kidding on the last... I'm kidding on the last part. Okay, fine. Um, how about a cruise? She can see the world in the comfort of a boat. It's a dream for any girl. Yeah. She can even bring a parent. Although that's a nice idea, I, I checked all the cruises before and they currently are closed for maintenance. Hmm. Well, she likes animals, right? Yeah. We can give her a pony! Ooh. Hate to be a Debbie Downer, but wait, who's Debbie? It's an expression. I don't think they'd have space or time to care for a pony, and I think she had a bad experience with one. Either that or a horse. Mom, well, either size. Well, I'm a lot of ideas. of this. Ow! Ow! Oh! Gosh! Ow! Did you really have to pull me? Shut up! Are you sure this is gonna work? Yeah, of course. I've planned this out a ton. I hoped. I, I hope it's worth it. My ears getting messed up. 
Nigel, I highly doubt that. You put so much mousse and chemicals in it, I wouldn't be surprised if a bomb went off and your hair stayed in place. Meanie, what did I ever do to you? Shh. I, I think something's happening. I hope she likes it. Shh. And be beautiful. Oh man, that's the best. Okay. Yay! Let's see. I'm a bad builder. Thank you.